What's up guys, Ben Melican here back for Carl's Mystery Tackle Box. Now if you remember a couple months ago, back at the end of summer, myself and Matt from SB Fishing TV did a little bit of a, a fishing challenge, a tournament challenge, an online cyber tournament challenge, I guess, would be what it was called. Uh, it was a super fun time of the lake. The bite was pretty tough for both of us, and I just barely, barely edged out Matt. He's a great fisherman. Um, so we decided we're gonna go out and do it again. We're gonna do the exact same thing as last time. We're gonna switch the rules up just a little bit, but the, uh, the same thing remains true. We have our mystery tackle box pro boxes. We're going to open them up. We're going to use these baits and then we're going to go out and try to catch some bass on them. So the rules for this competition, um, it's only going to be four hours. So we're pretty strict on the time frame of how long we can fish. It's going to be largemouth bass fishing. Um, so your best five bass, your biggest five, if you can catch five, I don't even know if in four hours we can go out and catch five, but we're going to absolutely try to. Um, those are going to be scored and all we can use is our mystery tackle box pro box. Ben Milliken and I are having a one versus one virtual tournament. Last time I took the L big time. I caught two bass right off the bat. It was really great. Then I caught nothing but catfish the rest of the day. But a little trick up my sleeve. Today I am at Lake Havasu in Arizona. We're going to be fishing for some smallmouth. Hopefully we'll be able to take the W and beat Millican fishing. We got, we got four hours on the clock. This says 1220. It's really like 820. Let's make it happen. We're definitely gonna need some some luck if we're gonna have a chance to go out and beat Matt. But I'm gonna get the boat launched. We're gonna get out there um, to the sexy power plant lake right back here behind us. And then our four hours can start. You're going down, Matt. All right, this place is gonna be a little crazy today because it's spring break in Arizona. But let me show you guys what I'm gonna be throwing against Ben. We have Catchco's The Hunch. I'm throwing a drop shot with the Big Bite Baits Jerk Minnow. We have the Weston Swim the baton. I'm throwing that on a flickety split from Catchco. And those are going to be the four that I'm starting off with. There's some spawning smallmouth here. And basically what I'm going to do is pick up the Weston swim and the hunch and just like work and cover as much water as I can until I can find them on a bed. Then I'm going to pick up the jerk minnow and see if we can't pick some of those fish up off the beds. There we go. A little wacky rig fish once again not one of our big females just a little male guy but we'll take him nonetheless on look how good this thing looks this is probably gonna get a lot of follows well this water is super super clean we got 62 degrees we are looking for some smallies ripping the western glide around right now just looking for some fish on beds all right let's let's throw the old baton around oh there's a smallmouth right there james pull your bait straight through hang on is he going for my bait no not even close he's not giant but he will add to our total so we're gonna weigh him oh man he's giant one pound, two ounces. That's a tank. Well, thanks for playing, bud. He's sticking here. He's right under, he should be like right here. Yeah, I wanna fish around the bridge a little bit. Then uh, figure it out from the, oh, oh my God. That is a, that cannot, oh, it is a small mouth too. Right there. He, that's a big smallmouth. Dude. Oh, he turned right away. Oh, wait, he's circling. That's a big smallie, dude. That's a huge smallie. There we go. Oh, that's a better one. Might actually be like a female. Nope, just a good size male. On the old whacking rig, he's not very happy. Come on. Come on. Sweet. Freaking choked it. Way back in his mouth. 
once again on that riot baits uh javelin i think no baton javelin baton same thing not a terrible one not a great one throw them on the scale for the old competition he is two pounds and nine ounces eh, we'll call it ten ounces it's nine and seven eighths two pounds ten ounces pop how dude they're all there's one there there's one there I wonder if they'll eat that glide bait. Oh, I just brought that right by his face. So we came outside of that canal and now we're fishing like the bay out in front of it where I'm assuming these smallmouth are gonna stage to spawn. And I'm throwing this Weston glide, just letting it sink a bit so it's about five feet beneath the surface. We're fishing 12 feet of water and I'm just slowly gliding it back to the boat. Just trying to cover water till we see a bed or we find some sort of structure that we can fish. I'll pick up that drop shot with the jerk minnow and maybe the baton on the flickety split. I haven't tried that yet on a bedding fish. But we're still looking. I don't know how we're doing against Ben right now. I don't know how he did. But it's best five fish. So I'm sure he's winning at this point. <laughs> All right guys, not a whole lot going on so far. We are two and a half hours into the four hour challenge and all we have to show for it are those two fish caught on the wacky rigged baton. So I think we're gonna mix things up. The fish that are in the cove spawning are, are just so finicky and hard to catch um, that I think we're gonna move out onto like some main lake points, try to kind of drag that Carl's Carolina rig around a little bit. We don't have a whole lot of time left and we got three more fish to catch. Okay. Oh, that's not even a small one. Finally moved offshore. Uh oh, Matt. Uh oh, Matt. We're gonna drop the poles there. A little spot luck, actually. We might have found a Giddin. Oh, yeah. That's a better one. On the old Carl's Carolina rig. Not a giant, giant like I had hoped. I just had this Carolina rig, Carl's Carolina rig. I don't even know what the name of this plastic is. It's a uh, it's a Carl's amazing creature bait plastic. Looks to be about a three pounder or so. And three pounds, one and three quarters. So we'll say three pounds, two ounces, not a giant. All right, we just moved spots. We were fishing in the London Bridge Canal. Now we came out of there and up Lake Havasu a little bit, fishing in this windblown pocket. Just looking for some fish. I do not want to get skunked, and I do not want to lose to Milliken again. I mean, he's okay. He's all right. He catches like, you know, kind of big fish, but come on. All right, well, I switched up the drop shot to a ball head jig and I put that jerk minnow on it. I'm just gonna stay off the bank a little bit, slowly drag this thing around. I think we got about two hours left. All right, last cast. Yeah, eight pounder. That's it. Skunked. Congrats to Milliken fishing on that W. Again, maybe third time's the charm. Ah, good work, Ben. So you guys can hear the uh, the wind is blowing on it too, and we're really getting low on time. We only got probably an hour and a half left. Well, I guess a half hour left it would be. Well, just had some camera difficulties. My camera froze up, but here is the uh, the fruits of our cast on our point. Zeroed out. He is, that's a better one there. Three pounds. Stop it.
314. Sweet. Three pounds, 14 ounces to the total. We need one more. We gotta get back in there, guys. This is a good spot. Oh, man. We've been getting dangerously low on time, but I actually just went out and scanned around a bunch more. I found another hard spot at this point. So we are going to cast on it a few more times. We literally only got 10 minutes left. I don't think we're gonna get our fifth fish. Hopefully we can. We're gonna give our best. If not, I'm pretty happy because it's been a tough four hours. It's been a grind out here trying to waste time with these spawning fish and such. But let's see if this spot's any better. Okay. Yep, another one. Another one on the point. Points point out fish, folks. Uh oh, Matt. We might have, we didn't do a Nate. This one's definitely not as big, but we didn't do like a uh, size limit for having to weigh him. Maybe he is better. He's pulling. He's pulling. Let's see. Last one was 314. I don't think this one's quite as big. This Carolina rig, though, guys, seriously, any hard spots on points? These are probably. Oh, he's got a bunch of grass on him. That's why. These might be pre spawners. Might be post spawners. I don't care what they are. He's not nearly as big. And it looks like he was eating grass, but he wasn't. He was eating my Carl's hog. Let me show you. I got the bag right here. They keep coming off. But this is what I'm throwing. This is the gator hog in smoke Chobi Craw. We just got our limit. Woo! Get this little wand on the board. That was like, seriously, time is almost expired. And we just got this guy. One, 15, 115 and three eighths. We'll call it 115. There it is, guys. Fish number five. Freaking did it. Hope you're catching them, Matt, because I think we did okay today for this time of year. Well guys, we're heading back to the ramp. We uh, we definitely didn't smash them, but at least we got our five fish limit. Uh, just to add it up, it was 11 pounds and 13 ounces. So not like the biggest limit of all time or anything, but hey, it's it's cold outside. It's not easy to catch them right now. Even in Texas, in a power plant lake where I'm at, and the fish are still all screwed up. They don't know if they want to spawn or not spawn. Hot baits today were definitely that baton, the wacky rig, up shallow, just kind of pitching it around, trying to find something that'll eat, um, that's in any phase of the spawn. And then after that, we just moved out to a point and caught him on that Carl's uh, Carolina rig kit with the gator hog on the back of it. That, that's an awesome bait. If you're ever throwing a Carolina rig, a little tiny creature bait like that is absolutely perfect. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this challenge. Um, hopefully Matt smoked him this time. I hope he whooped my butt. Uh, I hope he doesn't beat him back an ounce though, because that would really, really suck. Um, but yeah, be sure to go subscribe to Carl's Mystery Tackle Box channel. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what challenges you want to see, if you want to see one like this again, or what your idea would be for the next one. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm out of here.